Richard uh, talk about what you guys think you need to get accomplished here this week to get things turned around again. Um, I think we need to just reestablish like our rules on defense, you know, and just uh, make sure everybody knows what we're, what we're supposed to be doing. And, you know, we got to get it going a little bit offensively. You know, we had some struggles, including myself, on the offensive end. And um, I think it just starts on the defensive end, though, just making sure we got to be able to get stops. If we can't guard people, if we can't get stops, then we're never going to be able to win a game, you know. So I think it first and foremost starts on the defensive end. What's the team's confidence level like right now? Would you say? I mean, nobody likes to lose, and obviously we've been we lost a few of our last games. So I mean, we're just trying to just bounce back. I mean, there's nothing you can do. You can't soak in it. You know, you gotta you gotta learn from your mistakes. You know, and that's what good teams do. They learn from their mistakes and they bounce back and they don't uh, repeat those same mistakes. Have you figured out offensively what's up with you right now? I think. You're, you know, you've been pretty steady all season, and suddenly the last two weeks it's been more difficult for you. Um, I don't know. I guess it's just adjusting to the way that teams are playing me. I guess you know, you just gotta, you gotta just adjust to how to figure out how they're playing you, and you just gotta capitalize and figure out what they're doing and what they're taking away, and then just try to do other things and figure. You just gotta adjust, and I think that's the biggest thing. I'm just having a tough time adjusting to the way teams are playing me. So. Um, I don't think it's anything with confidence or anything, but you know, you just gotta figure it out. You guys are still in contention for a first round bye in the Pac-12 tournament. Uh, and winning against Colorado would particularly boost your chances at that. How big would that be for you guys to get a bye? Um, I mean, that that'd be good. I mean, that's what everybody's playing for. We're playing for the. Uh, top four spots in the tournament. So I mean, we're tied. We're right there with uh, you know a few other teams. So I mean, these these next two games are the most important. It starts on Wednesday, the most important game, and then to try to uh, get a W Wednesday and Saturday. Are you starting to feel like the aches and pains of the long season? Um, uh, not not particularly. No. Uh, I think um, I mean it's been a, it's been a long four years. Uh, just to think about it, you know, it's about to be over. Uh, I mean, you embrace it. I mean, not nothing's gonna last forever. So uh, you take it for what it's worth. Um, you take great memories with you, and um, you know you just try to move forward. You look at the positive aspects of things, and uh, just try to you know just you know make these two last games your you, you know the, the most cherishing they can be. Uh, especially with you know how important these games are to us. So uh, I mean, just take it for what it's worth. For sure, Um. Like like he said, it's been a, it's been a long few years, and you know you just nobody you want to go out, you want to leave everything on the court. You know be, these being our last few couple uh, home games, so I mean we obviously want to get the W, but I mean it's it's been a great experience, and we just want to try to bounce back so we could end the season right. You guys haven't seen Utah since the tournament last year, the Pac-12 tournament. What do you remember about them? And, uh, do they look the same this year? Have they changed? Much? Uh, no, I mean, they're, I, I personally feel like they're a better team. You know, they got a couple new players. Uh, they're playing, they've been playing solid all year. So, I mean, we are definitely looking forward to that game. You know, we can't take any games for granted, especially at this point. You know, we're not playing that that well. But um, we do remember that they left. They they were they bounced us out of the tournament in, what, the second round. So, I mean, we should all be fired up a little bit about that. And just be looking forward to just playing as hard as we can, so we can get the W. What do you remember about Lovebridge? He had a big game against you. That uh, what, uh, what? What's your recollection of him and the kind of player he is? Uh, he's a good player. Um, I just remember he hit a few big shots at, towards the end of the game, and got them a little bit of momentum. Um, uh, he, I don't know, he's. <laughs> He got them. He got them going a little bit at the end, and he was a big part of that. That whole little comeback and sending us and sending the game into overtime and everything. So I mean, he's a good player. Hats off to him. Justin, when you when you watch tape, what's your impressions of Delon? Right, he's new on their team, but he seems to do a lot of different stuff with him. Yeah, um, Delon from LA. So me and Delon, uh, like grew up together. I mean, uh, but he's scrappy. He's just uh, always around the basket. He doesn't really like to jump shot too much. He's more everything around the basket. Uh, but he's just, you know, a stat stuffer. He does everything. He passes, says, rebound. Uh, you know, he that's what he does. He's always, you know, he's long. He's lengthy. He gets his hands on a lot of balls. Uh, but he's a good player. He's doing he's doing great things for that team. And uh, he has them in the, in the middle of the, of the conference uh, fighting for the same things we're fighting for. So uh, he's playing well right now. When you say you grew up with him, 
how did you know him? Did you play with him against him? Uh, my dad and his brother were close. Darrell, Darrell was close, and um, growing up, um, like me and Delon, Delon played on our younger team with uh, in AUU. So when we were about like seven and eight, he was on our younger team. So like you know, my whole life, we he had watched me play, I watched him play. So. Uh, my whole life we've been, you know, right under each other, but we've been... But you're on teams like this, not, not always on the same Right, because he's, he's younger than me. So, right. uh, you know, my whole life he's been, you know, around, and we've been at every open gym together. So it's, you know, it's an L.A. thing, I guess. Richard, can you talk about Justin's sort of his development over the last few years and his evolution as your sort of your team's leader? Especially this year? Um, Justin's came a long way, you know, from when he first got here and everything, you know, just evolving as a player, evolving as a scorer, a point guard, a passer, a leader, you know. Um, he's been carrying this this whole time. He did a big portion of carrying this last year along with Allen, you know. Um, we Like I said, we played together in high school. You know, he's always been there for me, always been there for him. And, uh, I mean, just seeing the, the growth from that, from, from back in high school to even my first couple years here to where he's at now, he's just an outstanding player, outstanding point guard, you know, and he has, he has leadership qualities and he affects a lot, of, a lot of people around him. Last year, Allen was, was the guy on the team, but it wasn't maybe his personality to be a vocal leader. Uh, did you know that Justin would be able to assume that role this year and, and become more of that guy? Well, um, yeah, I mean, I think last year was a big part of both of them. You know, I feel like they both were putting up numbers. I mean, it wasn't just Allen. I feel like it was both of them fairly equal. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I, he knew this year that coming in, it was going to be prim primarily like his team. He was going to have to take on that leadership uh, role and help us uh, being that, that leading scorer and everything, just being vocal, you know, being a, a floor leader, you know, helping the younger guys, catching them up, you know, picking everybody up a little bit. So, I mean, I think he was aware of the task at hand. And knowing him as you did, you were confident that that's something you'd be comfortable with. Yeah, I thought he would be with. I mean, yeah, as a as a as a basketball player, as a point guard, you know, I I thought that was something that he was prepared to handle.